instructor. But as number two in the nation, hopping and bopping everywhere, doing big ledges wide open, 18 years old, and doing a week-long school as a co-instructor with Bernie, I was really the student there, we did three days, no clutch, all turns and perfect body position and back for the traction and squatting for the hills and basically balance and control and never spinning, okay? And going back to the basics after already being number two in the nation, that's what got me the six championships is perfecting the basics. Because it's something that was going on. You can't go back to the levers down, the handlebars back, and expect to get better in trials. It's a very important topic. I know. Engagement rings. Look, the people are better than you say. Because the handlebars need to be forward. Diamonds are. Yeah, blue diamonds. Why don't want three plates. How are you going to ride on this? Impossible. But the perpendicular point is the minimum back you want your handlebars. Anything past perpendicular is, we'll just call it bonus, okay? So this bike I tested about half an hour ago, and I could tell right away, everything worked really, really good, and it's gonna be fine to teach the trial school all weekend, okay? So again, I need like 18 bikes here, lined up so I can do it in an organized fashion, or Two pumpkins. Don't be jealous, Yasin. I am jealous. We have a uniform over there you can purchase. Yeah. So we don't stop unless it's a last resort. Because then you have that balance. Just keep it rolling slow. Don't ever stop. Rolling slow. The clutch just lets you go slower. First you have to learn how to lead the bike up. To do that, we say no clutch for just one minute, just a couple minutes, no clutch. And please let me introduce you the owner of the property. Pat and Jim Bauer. <laughs> so that's the reason why we're here, because of them. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah, you don't get any better than this. So. Thank you. Yeah. Total balance and precision. It's all about how fast you go through the wood. It's all about balance and precision. You'll find adjustment. hops and you don't go anywhere that's pretty awesome okay you're doing good and just this stuff takes a week focusing on just this technique to learn you can't learn it in a day or five minutes so don't get frustrated with all these techniques if you're not learning them it takes weeks to learn a certain technique back jab push so that's a good nose really with that much momentum it's got that good technique back jab push from the steering, straight ahead, back, jump, hit the brake. I had to let go quicker than the opposite. Let go. Go left or right? Huh? You want to go left or right? 
Yeah, yeah I think so. Yes, you did. <laughs> So now, how much do we appreciate Peter's obstacles? We've got some fun, safe obstacles up here. Isn't that yeah. nice? Yep. Thank nice. you again. Yeah. Really awesome. Yeah. So we're still not going to get to any jab saps yet. So the approach is the same. Obviously, if it's a jab sap, we would do jab sap, then stay back. A splatter, we'd splatter, then stay back and keep the power on. Jab sap, stay back, keep the power on. A double blip. You can still just double blip, stay back, keep the power on. So on this one, we want to hold a wheelie over it. So be careful when your front tire hits not to gas it too much too soon. Because it pulls a real nice high wheelie, but then you get to that um, loop out sensation before your rear tire even gets to the log. So you end up shutting off before the rear tire even gets to the log. Because you already got too high of a wheelie. Uh oh, this is way too high for me. You shut off before your rear tire even gets to the log. So you're always going to be hitting your front tire on the second log. So on this one, touch your front tire, and it's a real slow second power. Don't rise that front tire up too soon. Don't let it touch the grass. Just touch your front tire, real slow second power. So the front tire is right here. Now the rear tire has about a, let's say, just 12 inches before it hits the log. So I just delay that second power, and then when the rear tire gets close, then I try to open the second power. So I'm trying to open the second power as the rear tire is hitting. So by the time it hits, it gets to the top of the log, it got to my comfortable wheelie position, and then I shut off, the rear tire lands first. So you just don't want to loop out your wheelie too soon. So it's a slow second power. Slow and gradual second power. Stay forward, careful not to loop out too soon. As you start falling out of balance, you can turn the steering. This, by this time, my body weight's back and my clutch is out. And then I'm in the middle of the wheelie. See how the bike is? And I hold that till the rear tire hits. Two will be a lot less physical. We're going to skid plate the log on purpose. Three tire hits, shut off. Push back a little bit, shut off. Front tire land, right over the log.
for sale. Somebody could really look like this if they bought the bike. <laughs> Hey, Oli! Sam! Sam! Can you do it, please? Can you hold it? And then... that bolt somewhere in there let's just say that bolt right there that'd be your perfect height so if you're too high I'll say lower 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 if for some reason you get there I'll say higher 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 then I'll stop you right there okay so to get to that pressure point or the stuff try to get there fast the slower you go the more chance you have of losing your balance left or right so I'll come in a little faster than normal a little wheelie as soon as it hits like keep the clutch half engaged so it's kind of pushing it that keeps the fork stuck against it gets more pressure in your front end both brakes on as soon as it hits thanks for that indian man it's really working <laughs> 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 So front tire hits, brakes on, both front and rear brake and half clutch. Uh, you're using that steering to keep your balance, fall left, turn left, fall right, turn right. Okay, I got it. And I'll be there to hold your fork to help you. Now, the next thing you do is start to throttle up, pull forward. And when you get about here, pop the clutch. So the forward, the forward pull is as fast as you can. Not a slow motion like I just was talking. So when you're back, pick the throttle up, and as soon as the RPMs come up, it says, okay, you better go. So you just pull forward, pop, okay? And I'm trying to say the throttle first just so you don't have to worry about too many things at once. So you can kind of pick it up, quarter throttle, come forward, pop. But what we do normally is just, we kind of go wide open. So we make sure we make it. We just go like this, and then we just come forward, pop.
So we want to make sure we pop the clutch. Don't worry about looping out because usually the impact brings the front end down. The only way you loop out is if you keep the power on under impact, like Yasik does. Okay? <laughs> the other way people would loop out would be almost at a dead stop right here when they pop the clutch. Okay? So we don't want to be dead stop when we're popping the clutch. Oh, you keep the front brake on, buddy. You broke it! Lame. Oh, yeah. 